Are you confused about drone classes and airspace categories and are not sure where and how you're allowed to operate your drone in Europe from 2024 and onwards? The good news is, it's actually very easy. EASA harmonized the majority of drone rules for European countries, so no matter whether you fly here in sunny Spain or in cold Austria, you don't need a master's degree in dronology in order to operate your flying camera legally. So just take a few minutes to learn with me about the other airspace categories and drone classes and then you'll know exactly what you're allowed to do, no matter whether you have a newer drone with a C-Class label or an older unlabeled heritage drone. This guy does not know what he's talking about. And every time, this guitar has to come and rescue the situation. So, when he talks about heritage drones, what he really means is legacy drones. Drones without a C-Class label that were purchased before 2024. Got it? From January 1, 2024, drones that are placed on the market in EASA countries are required to carry a C-Class drone label. Drones without such label are still allowed to fly, but depending on the weight of the drone, there might be some changes, which we will dive into later in this video. But before we get into specific drone labels and models, you need to know which airspace categories there are. The open category we're talking about today covers 99% of consumer drones. It consists of the three subcategories A1, A2 and A3. They all have in common that you must not fly over assemblies of uninvolved people and that you keep a flight altitude of less than 120 meters above ground. Subcategories A1 and A2 allow you to fly within urban areas, while A1 allows you to fly over uninvolved people and A2 only allows you to fly close to people, which is defined as 30 meters in normal mode and 5 meters in low speed mode. A3, on the other hand, requires you to stay away at least 150 meters horizontally from uninvolved people and urban areas. So which drone class you operate in defines in which airspace subcategory you're allowed to fly. But regardless of drone class or airspace category, before your first flight you have to be registered as drone operator in one of the EASA member countries and you have to check before each flight if the area you intend to operate in is anyhow restricted by control airspace or an restricted or prohibited area. In that case you're required to get clearance or authorization to operate your drone in that area. All national aviation authorities in Europe provide mobile apps or websites with maps that show areas restricted for drone operation. Drones with C0 classification like she makes me so nervous. I cannot even talk when she's here. She's so beautiful, isn't she? Drones with C0 classification like this DJI Mini 4 Pro here are below 250 grams in weight and are therefore allowed to operate in airspace subcategory A1 and A3. So basically you're allowed to fly anywhere as long as you stay clear of assemblies of people. Drones with C1 classification like the DJI Air 3 are below 900 grams in weight and are also allowed to operate in airspace subcategory A1 and A3. The only difference in operation to C0 drones is that even though you're technically also allowed to fly over people, you should not intend to. To operate C1 drones, you have to obtain a remote pilot certificate for the A1 and A3 subcategory. You can get that by completing the online training and passing the online exam provided by the National Aviation Authority of one of the EASA member countries. Drones with C2 class label are below 4 kg in weight. The DJI Mavic 3 Pro for example belongs to this class. They have to be operated in airspace subcategory A2 or A3, which means that overflying uninvolved people is prohibited. You need to keep a horizontal distance of 30 meters to them. This distance can be reduced to 5 meters if the drone is operated in low speed mode. Operation of C2 drones requires you to obtain a remote pilot certificate for the A2 subcategory, which you can obtain by passing an additional theoretical exam in person at a national aviation authority in an EASA member state. C3 and C4 drones can have a weight of up to 25 kilograms. They are only allowed to operate in airspace subcategory A3, which means you have to keep a horizontal distance of 150 meters to urban areas and uninvolved people. You need to hold a remote pilot certificate for the A1, A3 subcategory. Operational C3 and C4 drones are the same. The only difference between the two is that C3 drones need to fulfill some technical requirements that C4 drones don't. If you have purchased a drone without a C-Class label before January 1st, 2024, it is considered a so-called heritage drone. It can still be operated beyond that date, but depending on the weight of your drone, there might be some differences in which airspace subcategory you're allowed to operate your drone. For drones below 250 grams, like the DJI Mini series, everything basically stays the same. You're still allowed to operate your drone in airspace subcategory A1 and A3. All drones with a weight that care that care oh. 
By the way, guys, do you know that my camera operator is a very pretty girl? All drones with a weight of 250 grams or more that do not have a C-Class label, however, are restricted to airspace subcategory A3 from January 1st, 2024. Okay, so I almost finished editing this video and I just realized that it might be handy if I provided some kind of overview table that shows allowed airspace subcategories and competence requirements for each drone class. So, here it is. So basically, things get less complicated in 2024 and apart from those unlabeled legacy drones between 250 grams and 2 kilograms, which are now required to operate only in airspace subcategory A3, everything stays the same for unlabeled drones. And for the new drones with C-Class labels, those labels offer more operational possibilities than before. So now that you know the rules, you might want to watch this video here to learn how to get the best quality footage out of your drone. Ready to rumble. She's recording, she doesn't stop recording even to a <laughs> <laughs> What do I want to say, by the way? Danke für deine Geduld.